Times I've been there, times I came through. I'd meet you anywhere if it brought me closer to you. Hi, my name is Kim, and I'm a 53 year old middle school teacher, and I am so excited to show you the very basics of eyeshadow application. This is all I have right here. This is all I need. And you don't need any makeup experience in order to get a beautiful eyeshadow application. So I hope you'll hang in there and you'll learn a few tips along the way. Stick with me. So I wanna start off by introducing myself. My name is Kim and I'm a 53 year old middle school teacher, wife, mother and I'm in midlife. So I love teaching those of you who are in midlife and you are having maybe some changes going on with your skin, more texture. I love teaching easy, easy natural makeup tips. So if you're interested in learning more, you may want to click follow so that you don't miss a thing. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to show you the very bare basics of doing eyeshadow. I get a lot of questions about it. Like, will you do a demo? Can you show us how you do your eyeshadow? Here it is. But I'm going to start and be so basic that you can make your eyes look as fabulous as you want if you just follow some basic steps. So I know on some social media, you will also see that, or if you watch makeup artists, they are using so many different colors and that's overwhelming, okay? You can do a full eyeshadow look with one eyeshadow. I'm going to show you how to use three, all right? And I'm just gonna show you some basic principles that you can apply to your eyes. Okay, so let's introduce some important tools. Number one is a primer, okay? Priming your eyes prepares your eyelids, especially if they have a lot of texture or they're crepey, to be able to hold on to the eyeshadows. Now, I'm gonna be using all powdered eyeshadows here. You can absolutely use creams, but I'm gonna show you powders. This is my favorite primer right now, but there's a whole lot of really great primers. This one is by a company called Sigma. It is in the color Persuade. Okay, so a primer you need. A really great eyeshadow brush, okay? The brush can make or break your look. If you were from back in the day, you remember the sponge, the one where the little tip would always fall off. Well, I have found that the magic comes in a brush that has a fluffier end. So again, we're going with a basic look. Now this is a double-sided brush by a company called Saint. It is called the Eyeshadow Brush. It has, it's well-named, it has a fluffier end. You can see how it somewhat has a dome shape. The other end is more tapered. It's smaller, so it's going to be able to be, we're gonna be able to be a little bit more meticulous with this end and more careful. Okay, so now let's talk about the shadows themselves. And if you need to pause this video at any point and go get your eyeshadows and come back, you can do that. I have picked some families of eyeshadows. All right, I picked one, three that are more of the neutral um, color family than from the pink mauve color family. And then warmer. Okay, I'm gonna start by priming my eye and I like to go ahead and apply this with my finger. And again, the reason that I like this color is because it ends up evening out, has kind of like a pink or a peach tone in this color Persuade. And I have some veiny eyelids, all right? So I'm just gonna tap that on really gently. Priming your eyes, preparing to receive the eyeshadow. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade and the fluffy end of my brush, and I'm gonna do what we refer to as a wash. So I'm gonna wash this color all over, tap off any excess that you might need. If you have extra textured or crepey eyelids, you might want to place the color more so than sweep 
But either way, on both eyes. Okay, so we are basically just providing the foundation for the look that we want. Okay, next I'm still working with the fluffy end. I'm gonna go into this color called Cafe. I'm going to put very little product on my brush, tap off the excess, and I want to place this. Now remember, a loose grip is all you need on your brush, and when you place this color, that is where most of the pigment of the shadow is going to go. So I'm going to look straight ahead I'm not going to close my eye. I'm going to look straight ahead as if this is what my eyes typically look like when I'm looking at somebody. And I'm going to place it where I want most of the pigment of the color. And that is right above that shadow. Do you see the shadow of my crease? Well, I want to go right above that. And I'm just going to use this windshield wiper motion with my transition shade. Okay, this is the middle one and continue to do that. Again, if, it, if you have very heavily textured eyes, you might want to do more of a place so that you don't get any fallout from your shadow. And if you do, it's not a big deal. Sometimes it's smart to do your eyes first and then do your foundation. I use cream makeup um, all coming from one compact and it's easy for me to clean up at the very very end all right so do you see what's happening we're kind of just building that lift let's go ahead and work on the other side tap it off where do I want most of the color keep my eyes open and work that color around Okay, let's go in now with the darker shade. This is like the crease. Um, it is your darkest shade. I'm gonna flip my brush over and dab very little product, tap it off. Now this can be a little bit trickier, but it doesn't have to be. I am going to go from the corner of my eye and I am just going to draw a little line up toward this angle of my brow, because technically your brows should not be falling below this corner, the corner of your eye. So we want to keep that lift going. Otherwise it could possibly drag your eye down. So I'm just gonna draw a little line. You guys see that? All right, and then I'm gonna turn my brush over. And now we're going to blend that. Okay, and I'm using these little circular motions. Okay, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna grab some more and I'm going to darken a little bit more. Now just inside of that line a little bit. Okay, turn my brush over and blend some more. Okay, so this is in real time. You can see how long it is taking me. Take your time. Okay, let's see on this eye. We're gonna draw a little line. Okay, outer corner, keeping an angle from the bottom of your nose to the end of your brow. That's about where you want that line to be. Okay, and then you can even make a little backward number seven. Flip your brush over and let's blend. When you have, or if you have hooded eyes or deep set eyes, only concentrating on the crease doesn't really help you out because the color gets lost there. So that's why you want to bring that transition shade above the crease and you can even take that line up a little bit further above the crease too. 
Just depends on the look that you're going for and what shape your eyes are. The fluffy eyeshadow brush really does help to be able to give you that blended look that you want. I love using an eyeshadow as an eyeliner instead of a harsh eyeliner, especially the older that I get. I feel like it opens my eyes and it also gives me a softer look. So I'm gonna go in actually with this transition shade to line and using that smaller brush and that's all I'm gonna do. Like I'm just gonna line underneath of that bottom lash line. Just like that provides a nice, soft look. Now, if you're going out for date night or you want a tad bit of a bolder look, you can go into that darker color and just that outer corner, darken that up just a little bit. Okay, let's talk shimmer. So sometimes we hear that shimmers should not be used for women over 50 or older women in general. However, here's my rule of thumb with a shimmer because I love a little sparkle too. So I have a shimmer here. This one is called Foxy. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit on my finger and I am just gonna place it on that movable lid space. So it's basically the place where you can feel your eyeball underneath. That way it's just enough light catching it to be able to sparkle, but not to accentuate all the texture that's going on on your eye. Okay, the other eye. Can you see how pretty that is? And we're gonna finish off with some mascara. When you are placing mascara, onto your eyes, you are going to want to start mid shaft, okay? And go ahead and just do a nice once over, okay? Now I'm going to go more to the base of my lash. I am going to rock the wand back and forth while I am blinking. Rock the, wa rock the wand, it's like a tongue twister, back and forth while I am blinking. Makes longer lashes. This is Kim and thank you for joining me through this eyeshadow tutorial. I hope you learned a few basic tips that you can take with you. Please save, follow, and share this video.